No, I don't waste no time Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel my name is joshua daniel george a social media marketer and online coach i have my own advertising agency where we focus on getting more sales and more customers for mainly e-com stores and i also have my own education business where i basically teach you guys on how to do the same so how to build up your own advertising agency or social media marketing agency as it's also known as um, how to get your first client, how to automate it with processes and scale it so that you can live life on your own terms. And um, I'm actually in the lifestyle design community right now, which is my free Facebook group. By the way, guys, if you're not part of that yet, uh, feel free to check it out. It'll be linked in the description box down below or on my like banner of YouTube. Uh, you can also click on it. It's the first button. Um, and one of the reasons why I recommend uh, you guys join in is because there is a free uh, beginner course in there as well which basically teaches you the upwork business model so how to leverage freelancer websites to get your very first clients or to basically you know uh, augment your existing agency so all that sweet stuff is in the free lifestyle design community and i'm fairly active in there as well i go live on a friday where i basically just do like a little little troubleshoot with you guys you know answer some questions that you've got uh, questions that i've missed out you know when uh, i've been replying to comments etc uh, you can ask them then on a friday but anyway uh, one of the comments or questions i should say that i've got is how to get uh, in contact with e-com stores when starting out which i thought was a very relevant question of course because especially with everything that's going on in the world now with the pandemic etc a lot of the local legion type agencies or people that are getting started with smma um, you know they all want to sort of go and move towards e-commerce because it is the much more safer niche or industry at this moment in time however getting in touch with e-com stores especially you know if you haven't really got your outreach systems in place just yet can be quite difficult and um, one of the methods i'm going to teach you guys in today's video is one that i actually do not use myself okay so that's just a quick disclaimer there are a bunch of um you know basically videos out there youtubers out there that will you know preach various outreach methods and, and uh, ways of getting clients but they don't actually use them themselves something that i um you know actively dislike you know i'm, I'm constantly mentioning it, you know that there are a lot of people there promoting the business model rather than actually you know doing the business model so just a quick disclaimer for you guys this is a method of outreach that i no longer use okay however with that said the method that i'm going to explain to you guys in today's video is something that basically got my big break okay so when i was starting out i was very much struggling with getting clients i wasn't very good at sales. I didn't really have systems in place for outreach. Um, and then I discovered the freelancer method, which is basically, you know, finding jobs on upwork.com. And that is basically what I want to show you guys in today's video as well. Okay, so how to get onto the Upwork platform, how to, you know, uh, send proposals that get responses, etc., is all in that free beginner course in the Facebook group. So feel free to check that out. I just want to basically show you guys how you can find e com stores and e com based clients um, on the Upwork platform. And the reason why I no longer use this, because it is a very effective method, it's low hanging fruit basically, right? So people on the Upwork platform or any other freelancer platform, um, you know, with that said, but the reason why I've gone for Upwork is because it, it does seem to be the biggest. You know, you've also got Bark.com, which I do not recommend at all. It's, um, pardon my French, it's just a, a shite website. Um, then we've got freelancer.com, which is good. Peoplepower.com, which is also good. Uh, what else have you got? There's a few other smaller ones, but like those are the big ones. Uh, but Upwork does seem to be the most, um, you know, I've basically gotten the most results from Upwork. Let me put it that way. So with Upwork, the reason why it's so effective is because it's a platform where businesses go to find social media marketers. Of course, there's many other other you know forms of um, you know, supply and demand on that website as well. But you know, in our case, it's a place where businesses, clients, etc., will come to find social media marketers. And yes, you know, mostly they are looking for a freelancer rather than an agency. But still, it's a place where you can get in touch with businesses that are looking for people to take over their socials. Okay, now whether you are doing social media management, Facebook ads. 
Um, I've seen you know, a few web design agencies, WordPress design agencies, conversion rate specialist agencies, etc. It doesn't really matter. Okay, you can find jobs on Upwork. Okay, the only reason why I do not or I no longer use Upwork as a method of outreach is because you only really find businesses that are looking for a short-term fix or looking for a relatively cheap solution. Okay, with that said, that does not mean that only very small jobs are available on Upwork. Okay, I've signed clients for 2K a month on Upwork. Um, I think the largest client was $2,500, which is roughly 2,000 pounds or 2,200 euros, something like that, a month on Upwork. Okay, so the, there are relatively big jobs on Upwork, but the cream of the crop, so the 5K a month clients, the 10K a month clients, the clients that spend 100K a month on ads, you won't really find those on Upwork because they will just look in their own network or they will basically find people based off of referrals, okay? But with that said, you know, if you just want to get up and running, you know, uh, build up your agency, get a few clients, then Upwork is a great place to start. And Upwork is the, you know, the first time I ever hit six figures with my agency was through Upwork. So, you know, I do hold it in high regard. I just no longer use it as actively as it did um, because we now have the hybrid outreach method. We have uh, paid traffic and we get a lot of clients through referrals as well. So Upwork no longer is in that top two, top three uh, methods of outreach for us. Okay, now without rambling on too much, let's actually go on to the platform. So what I'll do is I'll show you guys my um, screen now. Let me just double check that I am recording all of this. Um, yes, I am. Okay, so first thing we need to do, obviously, is go to upwork.com. And then this is basically what it looks like when you're already logged in. Okay, so if you're not already logged in, um, I think the interface is like white at the moment, and then you can create an account, etc. Again, check out the free Facebook, uh, the free social media marketing beginner course in the Facebook group if you want to know how to get onto the platform properly. Um, but this is basically what the Upwork setup looks like. I've already gotten um, a few videos on my channel where it's literally just watch me apply for jobs on Upwork um, and vice versa, right? So watch me find people for my team on Upwork as well. Those uh, videos are on my channel as well, so feel free to check those out. But now, how to find e-com stores on Upwork. So the first thing we need to do is obviously search for jobs. So what we can do is type in, for example, Facebook ads. What will, will you then get is every job post with the words Facebook ads in it. Okay, so not necessarily Facebook ads uh, needed or anything like that, but just everything that has the word Facebook ads in it, you'll now find, um, you know, basically in the available feed. So as you can see the top one, Facebook ads expert for ads campaign and installing my pixel on my website. So not very relevant for us, but again, we've now got everything that has to do with Facebook ads. What you can now also do, and this is a quick shortcut, is, uh, type in and in capital letters. And what that will do is it will basically have the one keyword on the left hand side and then the second keyword on the right hand side of the and, okay? Same shortcuts that you can use for Google as well. Um, so if you're on Google and you know like the Google shortcuts, it works as well. So add and in capital letters and it will break up those two keywords. So uh, at Facebook ads and e-commerce and then see what comes up. And now you'll get all of the jobs in the newsfeed that have those two keywords in it, so Facebook ads and e-commerce. So as we can see here, Facebook and Instagram ads for e-com stores. 20K spent, um, they're looking for an expert, they want an expert for six months, 10 to 30 hours a week. Again, quick side note, we're not doing anything with the hourly rate, not like that. What we'll do is we'll add an hourly rate as a placeholder, but we won't actively you know, use the hourly rate. When you get these people on a call, you say, listen, we don't base this off an hourly rate, we've just got a flat fee. And to be fair, I've never ever had, no, that's a lie. We have one client that did actually have an objection about that, but other than that, 99% of the time, they will not have an objection with the, uh, the, the flat rate. Because with the flat rate, they know what they're up against as well. Whereas with an hourly rate, you know, you could just spend 20 hours just very slowly going through that business manager and stuff. And you know, obviously that would be very expensive for them. So with a flat rate, they know how much uh, you are costing them prior to you working with them. Okay, so that is one of them. Um, again, Facebook ads needed for e-com client based within the health industry, Facebook and Instagram ads needed and so on and so forth. Okay, so that is an easy way of finding um, e-com clients on uh, Upwork. Now, another thing you can do is add and Shopify and that will narrow it down even further. So now there's three keywords 
that we need to find, um, you know, that have to be in those job posts for them to appear on the newsfeed. And as you can see, there are, you know, less jobs available, 652, but all of these have those three keywords in it. So Facebook ads and e-commerce and Shopify. So as you can see, creative video editor, not relevant for us. Digital marketer slash graphic designer, not relevant for us. Remarketing and retargeting experts for boutique fragrance company. Now that is a relevant one. Um, Facebook ads for real estate sector is not e-com. Media buyer for Facebook ads. Media buyer is just a fancy word for someone who runs ads. You know, this you're buying media space online, therefore digital marketer, Facebook ads expert, same thing. E-com assistant, not relevant for us. Clavio automation expert, if you are doing anything with email marketing, then that is something for you. Um, E-commerce marketing, free case spent from Australia. Ecom digital marketing graph design and guys as you can see here paste, uh, posted one day ago uh, posted two hours ago three hours ago so every uh, 17 hours ago so every couple of hours there's new jobs available you know for those of you that are thinking that upwork is saturated yes there are a lot of people on upwork and it's no longer the platform it once was in my opinion um, but you know there are still a lot of jobs available on upwork and there's enough for everyone to get a piece of the pie Okay, now another thing that I like to do when on Upwork is going to, where is the filter? As you can see, I haven't been on this for a while. I think it's advanced search. No, it's not, my apologies. Where are the filters? It looks like it's changed since the last time I have um, been on, there you go, filter. Oh, so it's actually on the left-hand side now. It used to be at the top. So what I like to do is find expert level jobs why? Because it sort of scraps all of the virtual assistant type jobs and, and uh, assistant needed and, and stuff like that. And the experts, people that have experts or are filtered it by experts, are usually the ones that are willing to pay more for people that actually have the expertise. Okay, then another thing that I like to do is make sure that the budget is filtered by 5K and 1K, so just get the bigger clients rather than the little ones. Um, project length, etc. We don't really look at that. And what I also like to do is, um, where is it? Was that no longer available? Oh, here we go. Project length. That's what I was looking for. So three to six months and more than six months. So we get the longer term projects. And yes, again, you know the the amount of jobs available will be smaller, but we don't want to be applying for two hundred jobs, right? We just want to pick out the ones that we think we're a good fit for, and then really put some effort into that. Okay, so again, econ marketing, we've already clicked on that. E-commerce, digital marketing, graphic designer, not really what we want. Digital marketing, hiring offshore social media expert for LinkedIn. No, uh, I said that in a way that I was like, oh yeah, this is it, but it wasn't. White label dropshipping store plus Facebook ads manager. Um, so what are they looking for? White label. If you can manage the Facebook advertising campaign as well, let me know. Okay, now they also need product research, so that is not relevant for us. Need of a social media ads expert. Facebook ads professional needed to run on the, okay, so that's another one that is relevant. So as you can see here, this person is looking for a Facebook ads professional that can run ads for my Shopify store using the ad account, using your ad account. Oh, no, 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 a bought mission, guys. That is not what we're going to do. Okay, so this one, for example, I have several e-com stores, so potentially multiple clients there. Uh, doing Facebook ads and Instagram ads. I'm looking for an expert who can manage multiple ads manager accounts and scale e-com stores this year. So what they want is someone to test new creators, find new audiences, and create local-like audiences. Now, if that sounds something that you want to do, you can always check you know, what other people have been saying about the client, um, and if it looks like something that you enjoy doing, um, you can also see where the client is from, how much they've spent previously is another indicator of how serious they are. If they haven't spent anything on Upwork, then you know that they're not really... Um, experience with freelancers etc if they've got a lot of spend then usually they're more willing to take risks as well and you can easily get them off of the platform um, so as you can see here all you need to do now is add a cover letter my apologies for the beeping noise the dishwasher is finished um, so all you need to do now is add a cover letter and this will just basically explain what you uh, offer it was something about yourself. Uh, don't mention anything about the agency, just be, sort of create the impression that you're a freelancer and then from there, ask them to hop on a call. If you've got any portfolio material, uh, add that in the cover letter as well and then just wait for their response. And then when they respond to you, you ask them, uh, you know, would you like to hop on a call just to meet face to face, see if it's the right fit. And then on the call, you mention that you don't really use Upwork for the payment method. You know, you basically take payments outside of Upwork. It's just the way you do it. Um, and then, you know, you basically, like I said, get them off of Upwork get them as an actual client on a, on a retainer. Okay, so uh, that is one potentially that you can use. What one is this? 
We are looking for a digital marketer expert to set up both Google Display. So if you do Google, that is something for you. Media buyer for Facebook ads, again, medium to high level contractor slash freelancer with a good record of ROAS and ad spend. Can communicate and speak in English. Communication within the agency is by Slack. Okay, so this is actually an agency that wants someone to take on um, as a, you know, basically to, to white label. This is what I mean, right? When I said, you know, there are a lot of agencies out there that just try and find uh, cheap outsourcers and Upwork. This is one of them from Denmark. Um, what else have we got here? Ecom marked and look for an agency slash freelancer with a proven track record to run advertising campaigns for an ecom store in the fitness niche. So these guys actually already said, listen, an agency is fine. So in this part, you know, or this particular post, you can actually mention that you have an agency. You can mention, you know, um, the success that you've had with your agency or, you know, the experience that you've got within your agency and so on and so forth. Okay. Now, one last tip before we wrap up this video. Another thing that you can do is uh, filter by fixed price. And then what I'll do is just remove and Shopify for now. There we go, search, so fixed price. And now you'll just find jobs that you're, you know, that the client has also said, listen, just give me a flat rate. I don't wanna work on an hourly rate either. Just give me the flat rates um, and you know, we can move forward from there. So here we go, Facebook, Instagram, creative ads expert needed multiple eight figure turnovers has an estimated budget of $5,100. So much for only low ticket clients on Upwork, right? So as you can see, you know, within Upwork or on Upwork, you can actually find high ticket or relatively high ticket clients. Okay, so what you need to do if you wanna get onto Upwork, like I said, is check out my free uh, beginner course in the Facebook group once you understand how to get onto the platform, how to send proposals, how to basically build up your ANC or get started with your ANC with the Upwork uh, methods, you can start you know, using videos like this, this video, literally this video that I've posted um, on you know, finding e-com clients. And then from there, once you've basically got that, um, you know, you've got that concept, you know, you've got the results, you've got the portfolio material, etc. you can then move on to bigger and better things. Like uh, for example, using the hybrid outreach methods, you know, uh, sending out, uh, multiple uh, cold emails using LinkedIn, maybe Facebook ads, uh, getting some referrals in as well, um, and basically just get the ball rolling because you've already got the results, you've already got the experience, etc. by using low hanging fruits like the clients on Upwork. Okay, so that is all I've got for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you got some out of it. Leave a comment down below what you'd like to see from this channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you all in the next video.